One of the very good ways, one of the very good things that came out of Elliott Wave has been the introduction of the Fibonacci ratio into chart trading of all sorts. And it's useful, I think, in two ways. One is to look at retracements. And basically, the Fibonacci sequence tends towards 1 to 1.68. And so we derive, from which are derived a lot of important ratios, 38.2 and 50. So these ratios tend to be very powerful without going into the theory of it too much. Um, and 61.8, that's 100% retracement. You will find, in the absence of any other indicators, either prior highs and so on, these uh, levels will act as support levels on retracement. They're very significant turning points. And in the absence of anything else, Fibonacci ratios of, of the preceding trend can be very useful levels to trade around. There is another use of the Fibonacci ratio, which I think is arguably even more important. Sometimes charts, such as, for example, a gold chart, uh, in 1980 it went up to 800 or so, in 1980, fiddled around for years and then broke up again and is now in uncharted territory where the market has never actually traded it before. How do we measure, what, how can we create chart levels to trade around in virgin territory once you've broken beyond all historical levels? It's very difficult. I think Fibonacci extension ratios are those, for example, of the preceding trend and the multiples of the, that preceding trend can create, Fibonacci multiples of that preceding trend can create resistance and, support, uh, resistance and support levels in totally uncharted territory, and that's Fibonacci extensions.